All right, let's get a few more people in here because I've been on here for a long time with y'all. And we do have a lot of people in here. We're still in here heavy. Let's get, um, let's see, let's get Wally. Let's get Wally in here. What's up, Wally? Mr. Wally, hop on. Waiting on Wally. And a lot of ladies in here. Shout out to all the lovely ladies in here. I scroll down and the ladies are looking very lovely. I say that respectfully. Just in case my wife is listening. All right. All right. Wally, you good? You want to get on, brother? All right, Wally got the hell up out of here. All right, Wally wasn't ready. Wally hit the button by mistake. All right. I'm trying to get some new faces in here. Um, let me see, Mr. Dubinsky, I had you on before. You're the suspected white supremacist troll that started Mayo babbling. I remember you. Yeah, y'all white supremacist suspect trolls, y'all come in and y'all play the same game. Y'all come in here lying and then you try to over talk your lie. And then when you get debunked, you just lie more. And y'all have the same playbook. Let's get, um, Dizza. And let me get, um, what's on there? Sophia? Let me get Sophia in here. Let me get Sophia in here after Dizza. Let me get Dizza, then Sophia. Dizza? Yo, Dizza. All right. While we're waiting on Dizza, let's get Miss Sophia in here. Hi. Hey, Sophia, how are you? I am doing good. So they always want to say, what is Black American culture? And Black American culture is innovation and leadership because we lead the world in everything and we innovate a lot of things and everybody follow up behind us to the point there they put systems in place to suppress us. But we're so great we still rise above. Still, we rise. <laughs> yes, indeed. And who's that? Who's that ringing your doorbell? Did you, did you make a booty call? No. Let, this, let that nigga in. No, this is a, this is my other phone. This is my other phone. Oh, oh okay, <laughs> okay. Because you, you up here, is it, uh, the nigga trying to get in. Oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> uh, he gonna call you and cuss you out? Like no. I took a bus so, over here. Come on. I was was hoping you picked up before my one friend got off of my iPad because we go back and forth because he's a dang on Democrat and but I'm an independent Uh and he thinks just because I don't dog Republicans that I'm for Republicans and I'm looking like but you're for the Democrats and so he's Mm -hmm. like we almost we we almost like lost our whole friendship because this Mm -hmm. this crazy he he's for these demon Democrats, and I'm just gonna leave yeah. it. One day I'm a one day I'm gonna be able to be on here, and he's gonna be on there, and you gonna be able to get him. <laughs> yeah, yes, definitely get me on there with him. Yes, yes. But anyway, yeah. all right. But thank you, dear. Right. Yeah, that dude is trying to get. She got a nigga over there. That's he's trying to get in the house. That's nigga. He's standing outside. He's like, oh, so, Sophia, Sophia. Get off that damn line with that Tyree. You hear me, Sophia? Open this damn door. The Alize gonna get cold. <laughs> yeah, that nigga's trying to get something popping. <laughs> yeah, that's a nigga at her door. That was a desperate doorbell ring. You know I'm here. I know you in there. I see the light. <laughs> Girl, open the damn door. Hello, I'm about to go next door to your neighbor and see if you are all right. Hello? Y'all know Sophia next door? I'm trying to check on her. Have you seen her? I'm supposed to come over and get me a little something and she ain't answering. I'm a, I'm afraid something might have happened to her. That nigga went down to the fire station, the police station. Um, Hello, I'd like to report a missing person, please. Um... Sophia, she is, um, yeah, she's about 5'2", brown-skinned, dead, pigeon-toed, got a curly weave. Um, Yes, I've been at her door for two hours uh, ringing, and uh, um, I have not seen any activity. 
and I'm supposed to get some. That nigga did not drive all the way over there to stand outside and ring the doorbell. Let him in, sister, and give him what he want. All right, let's see who else we got in here. We got a lot of folks in here tonight. We got a lot of people. Yeah, and where where are the people? I would like for some of the people who was who was in that room earlier, some people from the diaspora, who want to talk about the culture. Wait, where, where y'all at? Because I, I let people speak. And it's order here. See, it ain't going to be like these other rooms. People just get in the room and everybody's talking all on each other. No, I'm going to let you say what you have to say. I'm going to let you say exactly what you have to say. Just like old dude, the, the conservative Chris, who Chris, I think Chris has non-FBA lineage that he ain't really trying to own up to, to be honest. Didn't y'all think that, guys? Conservative Chris, I think Chris has tether lineage. Because when people get offended by us referring to some funny style people as tethers. Only a tether would get offended. Only a tether. And then when you start asking, hey, why you, you know, you sound offended. No, it's the divine. No, brother. No, 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 no. What you have to understand is the divine christening of the melanated people within foundation of black American culture. See, we have to take the high road, brother. You dig? We got to take the high road. It, it turned into plebiscite babble. You dig? And I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that at all. We got to stop that. We got to stop that plebiscite babbling and all of that. We got to take the moral high road nonsense. I'm not taking no moral high road. And some of these, we got a lot of tethers out here who pretend to be FBA. We got a lot of $5 FBAs. And then when you start pressing them, all they get to doing is plebiscite babbling. I'm telling y'all, plebiscite babble, that's a clear sign of a tether. Especially when we're talking about reparations. We're talking about giving you money and then you start babbling. That don't sound like an FBA. Now, where you from? No, I'm, my lineage is here. My father, my great-grandfather was a runaway slave. Well, how do you feel about reparations? Well, first, brother, hold on. Listen, hold on, let me get my drums. Um... First of all, brother, I wrote a poem about reparations. <clears throat> I don't need your dirty money. I don't need your money because it's funny. I don't need nothing but West African honey. Still I rise. Still I rise. Unduge mamdebo odabe. Shut the fuck up. Niggas want to start doing Kwanzaa poems when it comes to talking about our money. And you talking about you FBA. You ain't FBA, nigga. You a goddamn um, H1 visa tether. Say that. and Don't come in here cosplaying. I'll be cosplaying in here, man. I ain't trying to hear all that damn plebiscite babble. You ask, dude, hey, man, what? why Why can't we start looking out for ourselves, dude? Why we got to look out for all these other people? Well, brother, um, these are your family members from the distant waters of Africa, brother. They suffered the transatlantic slave trade, even though they sold you. After they sold you, they felt bad. So now you have to reach back out, my brother. That's what you got to do. No, no, nigga, put the drums down and miss me with that bullshit. No. No. I ain't taking no damn moral high road over no boat. No, nigga. Hey, you know, take that shit to some cafe somewhere. That don't work over here, brother. We ain't doing that. We're not doing that at all. All right. Let me see. Let's get a ram, Aram. Didn't I have you on the other day, Aram? I remember that name, Aram. I remember that name. Didn't I have you on the other day? Yeah, I'm the Armenian, bro. Uh, my name Aram. Okay, you're the Armenian dude? Yes. Okay, I, I, I kind of remember. I thought it was a Somalian guy. But, but no, I think yeah, we spoke a few times before. Like the first time I was telling you about a close friend of mine that was killed by two white supremacist kids in Utah. It was probably like about a year ago. Okay, wow, 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 wow. Yeah, okay, but what's, what's I, on your mind? I've been a fan for a long time, but I just wanted to say, like, first of all, I just want to uh, say thank you. Like, if, just as a man, 
for your work that you've done to amend just like men and women's relationships. So I just want to say, yes, like, I appreciate that for real. I think I appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. I really, really appreciate that. Let me get some more folks in here, family. All right. We got a lot of folks in here. A lot of people. But yeah, let's get some of the um the people who was in that that space earlier. What's up, Nikki the God? I see you, beloved. I want some of the people who was in that space earlier to come on through and talk all about that culture. I would love for them to talk about the culture. That would be great. Yeah. Let me see. We got Lizzo, Lozo. I right, get Lozo in here. Elzo or Lozo? How I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, sir. Elzo. You want to hop on, brother? What's going on, Terry? What's going on, brother? How are yeah, you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm good, man. So um, I missed the earlier conversation. Uh, it's half six where I am. A.M. Okay. Um, just break it down what was going on with the culture. So, because I think you wanted to hear from people from different areas about it. Yeah, there was a room earlier where they, it was some people, I think many of them were probably over there where you are in the UK, and they were, um, and some were over here too. They were talking about um, Foundation of Black Americans were jealous of them because of cultural differences that we didn't have a culture and we were jealous of them it was a real weird dynamic and i, I and nobody would really elaborate on it so i just wanted somebody who had that mindset to come and just elaborate on what they're talking about um i don't really have that mindset but i can give you a take on it maybe right right um, but thank you so much brother thank, thank you sir let's get champ champ hop on how you doing mission is shit how are you, champ? What's going on? I have champ? one question. Yes, Is sir. it true you work for the CIA? Um, see, well, no. You're talking about the CIA. Yes. No. You let me catch immigrants in action. your ass. You're no, I don't an immigrant you, in action. I feel like yes, yeah. all you're doing is leading black you people astray. You have a thousand people in this chat. You're not leading them nowhere. All I hear is yes. jokes. You're not trying to get the black man anywhere yeah. but his demise. People like you, you just get him to bitch no. and complain. Okay, see so what you're doing now. You're doing tether whining, okay? And you tether men, and this is something that I'm so proud of my Foundation of Black American Brothers. One thing our Foundation of Black American Brothers don't do is whine to other men. I talked about this earlier. A lot of you tethers, y'all live in these countries where the white supremacists, when they come around, you're not going to whine to them because the white supremacists, they're, they're like Jesus. And the women in your, your homelands, they don't want to hear you whining. So what y'all do, y'all niggas just whine to each other over there. And then y'all come over here trying to whine to us. So, Dude, what you makes are you so think off wanna... base. It's hilarious, dude. What, what, what makes you think we want to hear Tether whining? Dude, huh, I support FBAs. I want y'all to get y'all reparations, but you are not American. Okay, champ, why are you not in your homeland building it up, making it better? Why the fuck are you not building anything, my dude? You've been here for 30 years. Dude, dude, why are you not in your homeland? I'm in my homeland. No, that this my is family not your building. homeland, my boy. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is, Tether. Oh, yes, it is. This is my homeland. No, my family it built is not, this. my boy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. As long as you, oh, you don't rule anything. No, 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 no. This is my dude, homeland. You brother. don't rule nothing we, here. This is the white man's. Dude, the, the white supremacists run the planet. This is still my homeland. I stayed on no, my homeland. No, my brother. You're, you don't. You're... I, didn't, I didn't flee like you. That's why you're mad and jealous. You are running mad. You're fleeing. We, we, we beat our slaves. We... You did what? Over in Haiti? Because you sound like a Haitian. That's Haitian talk, right? Hey, we beat our slave masters, my boy. Ain't no fleeing. Yeah. Hey, okay, I can go Haitian. down there. We got all our problems. No, 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 no. You're, no, no, no. You're, you're Haitian. Yeah, right? I can go down there anytime I want. I don't got a bitch about no white. No, you can't. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all left Haiti. Y'all don't go back to Haiti. But look, man, you're missing the point. That's not what this conversation is about. The coon, no, it is the point, you bitch ass tether. You coons turned on the riders over there in Haiti. The coons, like yourself, you turned on Dessaline. You turned on Kristoff. You turned on Patreon. Y'all turned on the riders. And then it got overrun by coons, 
looking for a white ass to kiss, and here you are now. Look, Tariq, you're not gonna trap me in this. I ain't trapping you in enough. We're telling your history. Don't sit here and talk about how y'all beat the white supremacists. Yeah, but then y'all beat the riders over there too. Y'all got them out the pain because y'all had to get off your ass and build some more shit when y'all had the real riders over there who I respect and I did a documentary. Yeah, about I saw the documentary. It's pretty bullshit. No, uh, how way, is it bullshit? Uh, in this can you let me speak? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's, bull- no, no, no. What's bullshit about it? What, what's bullshit can you about? answer the question? Do you work no. for the CIA or not? What's bullshit about it? Oh, stop, because you tell they're babbling. What's bullshit about Do it? Do you work for the CIA or not? What's what's bullshit about it? Because you've already said that tether lie already. So what's bullshit about it? It's yes or no. Do you work for the CIA, Tariq? Okay, stop it, Tether. Yeah. You're just babbling. You're whining, Tether. You're just tether whining. You're mad because you're a failed tether who had to flee his homeland. And you're over here eating some oxtails flying your failed flag that you failed in, upset with foundational Black Americans trying to tell us what ain't our homeland. Nigga, this is our homeland. Our family built this. We've been here from day one. We created the lane, and you wouldn't be able to come over here if it were not for us. And that burns your ass. No, I love America. I love foundational Black America. Yeah, you damn sure do. You, you don't love your homeland. You love that we created a lane for you to bring your little old musty ass over to. You damn sure do love it. You're welcome, nigga. Nigga, kiss my ass. You just made that up. I... No, 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 nigga. You all kiss my ass. First of all, you sound Shut too up, frail nigga. and dainty. Let me speak. Gangster. Y'all hear this, you, man? Okay, first, nigga, you, ain't, you don't have no bass in your voice to sound gangster. You've been eating that Red Cross rice that they drop off to your ass. You ain't got no weight on you. That didn't even sound convincing. Kiss my ass. You sounded out of breath when you said that, hungry nigga. You sitting over there probably down in Florida somewhere, musty as hell with some high waters and some Crocs on with your rib cage showing, trying to sound tough. Nigga, get your little old musty Kodak black looking ass somewhere and give thanks to Foundation of Black Americans for giving your little old musty, janky, fleeing ass. I ain't lane. listen to the nappy goatee. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I would rather have a nappy goatee your than your mama goatee having nappy. Tight, your, your, mama, your, mama got, your mama got nappy titty hair, all right? And it has voodoo juice dripping off of it, nigga. All right, that's what you and your mama got. And you pluck hairs and put it in voodoo dolls and put hexes on niggas with your muscle. You got a haircut ass. from 2005. And nigga, and you fled 2,005 miles from your homeland. Nigga, you're the only nigga on earth who walked over here from Haiti. You actually walked on the water you were trying to get the hell out of there, nigga. You're like a little musty baby Jesus. You can walk on water when it comes to fleeing. And when you walked over, you had a radio and it was playing this. It's the government. 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 America! Here I come, America! I love America! Come get me, nigga! I need a life raft, nigga! <laughs> now get your This is the comedy hour. This is y'all leader. Y'all going nowhere. Yes, this this man right here. bitch ass. Now get your musty ass out of here before you get whipped like they whipped that nigga on the Mexican border. Now get out of here. You musty, jealous tether. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's get some more folks in here. Let's get um, Andres Laurent. All right. Let's get Andres Laurent in here. All right. Let's get some more folks. That's who it is. It's a fashion mogul, Andreas hey. Laurent. Hi, okay. Tariq. How are you, sweetheart? <laughs> it's not funny, asshole. Well, I'm trying to have well, a conversation with you. Because every time I come up here, you're always like, Andreas Laurent, you need to get off my stage, asshole. And I'm like, listen, asshole, I'm having a conversation with you. So what's it going to be, asshole? Right. Because I want to have a conversation. I love you. I love your work. All right. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, let's get um, Donda. Let's get Donda in here. Let's get Mr. Donda. All right. We're going to get Donda in here. All right. Donda, hop on. 
Donda, where you at? South Africa representing, bro. What's up? All right, man. How are you? I'm good. What's on your mind? Um, I, I'm all good, man. I'm all good. And I'm in support of FBA, man. You know, uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to go a little bit of off topic. I just want to say that uh, these Nigerians, man, they claim they are my, I'm my piano songs now. Like they say, the genre of my piano is is the, is theirs now. The Nigerians. So we have a little bit of problem, bro. Like this this, this way, nigga, from from the America saying that uh, uh, I'm my piano is created by Nigerians. Like I'm I'm so messed up right now. So I just want to say to you, brother, these people, brother, um, I don't know what that nigga's talking about. To be honest, family, I I don't understand one word he's saying. I really don't know what he's talking about. I was trying to rock with you, brother. You just completely lost me. The accent, that's one, and then the subject matter. So accent and subject matter just being all over the place, I just couldn't do it, brother. <laughs> listen, listen, I got to go off topic. There was a piano that a nigga stole, and I said, I want my mule and my piano, and I want it today. And I want to get your app to get my piano, because I play the piano and the art, and I play the harmonica, and I do music, and I work for the, the, the mall. Oh, nigga, what are you talking about? Nigga, what are you talking about? I don't know what this man is talking about. I try to be compassionate, but damn. Y'all don't get off topic, please. And whoever stole his piano, give him his piano back. Damn. Give that man his piano back. He, it was something about a piano. Do y'all know what he was saying? He was saying something about a piano. What, who stole his piano? And he's in South Africa. I know that piano. Then His life savings went in on that. And he probably makes money playing the piano. He probably, you know... He's probably down there on the beach playing his piano, making money. Y'all give him his piano back. He's probably singing and making money out there on the beach. Give my man his piano back. You dig? That is our brother. We love him. And we got to respect our family. That's our guy. But give my brother his piano back, whatever you do. Don't, don't let my man go out here without his piano. All right, my brother. All right, let's get some more folks in here. All right, where we at? Uh, let's get, um, let's get Mike in here. Mike, what's up, Mike? Mike, where you at, brother? Mike, where you at? Mike, you in here? Mike, Mike, turn your microphone on, sir. If you could turn your microphone on, that would be great, Mike. All right, Mike, don't have it together. Y'all, when y'all call up here, man, let's let's get it together. Hold on, hold on. Da, 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 da. Let me let me get Mike out of here. Hold on. I thought I had you in here, Mike. Okay, the, hold on. The brother with the piano, he's still trying to call back up. Brother, I don't know what's going on with you. All right. Um, let's get Mr. Iconic. Mr. Iconic, hop on, brother. Mr. Iconic, hop on. All right. Well, how come niggas ain't saying nothing? I'm trying to let y'all in here. Y'all not saying nothing. All right, Mr. Iconic, hop on. All right. Okay, y'all really got to get it together. Let's get Kid Gravity in here. Kid Gravity, hop on, brother. Mr. Kid Gravity, hop on. How are you? I'm good, Kid Gravity. What's on your mind? Uh, quick question, and then I'll, I'll hop off. Um, how do you feel about this Vivek Ramaswamy dude? Yeah, just a professional white ass kisser who's out here trying to get brownie points by denigrating black people, man. They they all got the same playbook. 
they get out here and try to denigrate us for white brownie points. And, you know, he's sent out here by one of these white supremacist think tanks. So it is what it is. Same old play. Nothing new. Same thing. Okay. All right. Thank you, Kid thank Gravity. You. Thank you. All right. All right, family. Okay. Okay. Let me see. We still got a lot of folks in here. But listen, listen. Go to um, hiddenhistorymuseum.com. We got an event coming on at the Hidden History Museum. If you're in L.A., y'all need to come through the Hidden History Museum. Beautiful spot, the Hidden History Museum. Very, very beautiful spot. Y'all need to come visit. It's a phenomenal space out here in L.A. Y'all come on through. Have a good time with us, ladies and gentlemen. Go to hiddenhistorymuseum.com. We're open Monday through Friday, ladies and gentlemen. And um, 11 to 4, y'all come on down and we're going to have, um, we have different events there every few weeks. we got an event coming up on um, August 12th. we got our comedy and we're going to have a rap contest, man. We're going to have a rap contest. We're going to get some spitters up there. You can win money. Get on the mic and spit some bars and let's see what you got. We're going to have a great time up there. Go to hiddenhistorymuseum.com. And check that out, ladies and gentlemen, hiddenhistorymuseum.com, hiddenhistorymuseum.com. Let me get up out of here, man. It's been real. I've been on here for damn near two hours. I thank everybody for tuning in. Everybody, since you're here, go to my YouTube channel. That's Tariq Radio and subscribe. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tariq Radio. So when I go live, you can get notified and y'all can chop up game with me. Tariq Radio, that's my YouTube channel. All right. I hope you guys have a productive week. Puppy Akute and Lola Vuve to the family. Y'all be good.